It's been two hours. We're at 10.30. 12.88. 12.89. So it does work. What's up guys, Anza04. I'm gonna make a battery box for the trail cam. As you know, these batteries get very expensive over time. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we're reading at $13.99 for a 12 pack. So over time it gets pretty expensive. So let me go through some of the parts that are required in order to make this battery pack. And note, this camera has 12 batteries and that then will equal 12 volts. So I put this cam off the side. It's a 4K camera. I have another video coming. Just wait for it. All right, first thing, you're gonna need to get the Stealth Cam, because that's what the brand is. It's a battery cable. They run about 10 to 12 bucks. Um, get it out of here. It's got the positive and negative terminals here. I'll get a little closer. Right there, positive and negative terminals. And it's got the power jack. This, this power jack reminds me of a Sony CD player back in the day with a little yellow tip. <laughs> All right, the next item is a battery of some sort. Um, there's millions of batteries like this. It just has a term, two terminals, positive and negative on top. And this is a seven amp hour. This will probably last three months of hard use. So this is another 20 bucks or so. And last but not least, I went with the 30 cal ammo box. These are cheap plastic. They come with gaskets inside. You can see right there, small container, perfect for the battery. And ironically, fits the trail cam and the battery perfectly. And it closes. Pretty cool. <laughs> All in one. Some other non-standard parts that you're gonna want um, are these cable glands is what they're called. It's a PG7 cable gland. And if you look closely, you'll see the rubber insert. And let me show you how this thing works. And as you squeeze and compress, it gets smaller and smaller. So what it's supposed to do is creates kind of a watertight seal around the cable. And typically what you do is you drill a hole on the one side, it's, I think it's about a half inch, you lock it in with this plastic nut, feed the cable through and cinch down to create that waterproof seal. Um, let's see, what else? Yep, heat shrink. Some wire nuts and wire cutter. Simple stuff. I have two of them. Uh, I will be going through a solar power version of this, so if you want, you can continue watching, or I might splice it into two videos. But this is. All right, let's get into the meat and potato of cutting. So take the stealth cam power cord and cut. And the reason why I'm gonna cut is with this cable gland, you cannot fish these terminal ends through this uh, rubber grommet. So, snip, snip. Before you snip, make sure you kinda hold on to it because you want to make sure you don't get the negative and positive uh, mixed up. So since we cut, looks like the top side is the positive, so I will add a little heat tube, shrink tube, shrink wrap to it. So I know I'll make a mistake. <laughs> okay, next on the box, kind of predetermined and marked a spot that I'm gonna drill. So I will do that now. And you can notice there's two marks. Uh, the other one hole is gonna be for the power cord to the camera and the other one is gonna be for solar. Right there are two marks. I'm using a step up bit. Boom, done. Pretty simple. Ah, yeah, look at that. Okay, let's, let's zoom in right there. Grab the plastic nut.
and boom. Look at that, pretty cool. So what I'm doing right now is just feeding, oh, before I do that, I gotta, I always do this. Make sure you feed this connector in first through it and then feed in the wire. Sufficient amount. And as you cinch it down, that's gonna create pressure. And then if you look closely, let's see, is this as close as it's gonna get? You can see how the gland compresses along around the wire. in there again. Okay, and then let's work on the internals. Um, so first I'm just gonna show you the basic, align your battery however you want. Actually, now that those little terminals are there, will this still fit? Oh, it's very, very close, but maybe not. Strip the wire on this. I don't even. wire nuts. So we got the white little tag is positive. I'm going to follow that line. Positive. Positive. Wire nut complete. Do the negative. Positive, negative. Positive. Oh, wrong battery. It's the nine amp. And grab the seven. <laughs> Positive here. Negative here. And in theory, here is the jack. There's no battery, right? Grab the jack. Move this guy. Plug and. Do we have power? Look at that, we got power. Good stuff. Can't see it because it's green and the camera does not pick up green that well. I don't know why. So you can't really see the menu system. Um, but it works. There's no battery and we made ourselves a battery backup. Pretty simple. And that's a wrap.